Hey guys, all right, so today is gonna be another monthly favorites video, and I am loving these videos. I loved going to my vanity, going to my bathroom, just getting stuff like, ooh, this was a favorite this month, this was a favorite, like, absolutely loved. Um, so as usual, there's gonna be skincare, there's gonna be bath stuff, there's gonna be makeup. So yeah, this is basically just gonna be everything. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is my favorite skincare line. You guys know this, I have talked about them before. Um, they're just amazing. I feel like I have very, very sensitive skin. I can buy makeup, I can buy whatever, um, just off the shelf, do you know what I'm saying? But skincare, it's iffy with me. Like, I can buy moisturizers, but I cannot buy, like, cleansers, exfoliators, um, toners. I cannot buy any of that. Serums, they're very iffy with my skin, and this skincare line is flawless. Like, I'll get into that later, but basically that's what I'm saying. Like, um, my skin is very sensitive like it's just very sensitive it's like an emotional boyfriend you have to be very careful with it i'm going to be talking about swedish skin apple rejuvenation serum and it looks like this and let me tell you guys this stuff has worked wonders 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 on my skin um i apply this right before i apply my moisturizer and it really just like sucks it up and so on the back of this it says, um, apply three to four drops to face, neck, and hands. Massage gently in upward and outward motion. Use twice daily. And it says follow with the apple rejuvenation cream, which I do, and it works amazingly. And the reason I'm including Swedish Skin in this monthly favorites video is because SwedishSkin.com is having a sale right now. And if you buy one of these, you get two extra for free. So right now I have three of my favorite skincare product in my hand. It's actually sick like it's like what you're giving that away like it's free that's what I said but it was obvious that I had to pass the savings on to you guys because last time when I talked about Swedish skin in my video a lot of you guys were like where do I get it where do I get it like I can't find it anywhere like they don't sell it at Sephora and no they don't sell it at Sephora but they do sell it at Swedish skin Swedish skin Swedish skin dot com um, and yeah, same goes for these. I ordered their moisturizer with the SPF in it last week and three came as well as you see here and the moisturizer looks like this and it was actually a surprise like I didn't know these two were coming for free and I thought they messed up the order but then I went back on the website and I was thinking I was like should I say anything about like that messing up my order because I just got free like amazing skincare do you know what I'm saying but yeah. All right, so the next product I'm going to talk about is the Philosophy Bubble Bath. And can we just take a second out of our daily lives to smell this? Oh, oh my God. Okay, so this is the classic fudge cake, and it looks like this. It's a brown color, obviously, but it's not like a brown brown. It's like a gray brown, like not chocolate brown. It's like beauty product brown. They did a good job, but this was one of the suggestions that you guys left in the comments. I think it was a girl named Anne. Fuck, was it Anne? I don't even know. I talked about this in my last monthly favorites video. I think I mentioned the sugar and cinnamon or something like that. It was like a really, really sweet one. This is really sweet as well. But when I heard about this, I was like, wait, are you serious? Like fudge? I was like, okay, well obviously I have to buy it because I'm stocking up on these. I want every single one and in my bathroom, it's gonna be so pretty. It's gonna be all the colors of philosophy. I'll just be like, which one do I choose today? Which is gonna be amazing. Yeah, I saw this in Sephora and I smelt the tester and I was actually like, it smells like chocolate, chocolate, chocolate fudge. Like it literally, literally smells like fudge. Like I don't understand it. Like how do they create these artificial smells? Oh, so good. But the good thing about this is it, like if you put it in, um, it doesn't turn the water brown. So it's not like you just pooped in the water um, and there's like a turd floating off in the distance. It dissolves and it's just clear water with bubbles. All right, so next thing I'm gonna talk about is another bath product, and it is by Lush. And their bath bombs, this looks really creepy. Their bath bombs come in a little paper bag that says Fresh Handmade Cosmetics. And you can get this at www.lush.com. My favorite, favorite bath bomb ever is this. And it turns the water a gorgeous pink color. It turns it this color. I don't even know why this is here. But, um, and the rose floats in the water after and it like dissolves slowly, like slower than the bath bomb. Um, but this bath bomb is so amazing. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I don't know, bath bombs are like, 
unlike any other soap. Like, if you haven't tried bath bombs, definitely go out and try them. I literally think they're, like, $5 for, like, one. It doesn't really smell like any other, like, bubble bath out there. Like, it just smells like... It just smells like a bath bomb. That's all I can say. Okay, so next product is a perfume. It looks like this. And it's called Love Kills Slowly. But I just feel like Ed Hardy gets such a bad reputation and I feel so bad for him. Is Ed Hardy a person? Or is Christian Audige like the person that makes it? Because it says Ed Hardy by Christian Audige. I don't even know, but this smell is so amazing. I could die in it and be like, hmm, content. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, would someone stop texting me already? I twit picked this so long ago. I had the bigger version of it. Um, and I was like obsessed, found my new scent. I loved it back then. And then I hated it for a while. But now I'm totally back in love with it. So if you guys haven't smelled this or if you don't have it, um, definitely check it out. And it looks really cute. Beside my other perfumes, it's just like pink and different. So I really like this scent. And it's not like this was the only scent I was wearing this month. Usually I just pick up different scents, but I was going for this one a lot more. All right, and last but not least is a mascara. And this is totally insane for anybody that knows my makeup choices. Um, I usually hate MAC mascaras. Absolutely hate them, absolutely hate them. They're just, I felt like they were too clumpy, they were too messy, they were too, just not good. Like there's better stuff elsewhere. But I finally tried this MAC mascara. I don't know how I tried it. I don't know when I tried it. I probably just buy it on a whim like I was in MAC and I was just like, yeah, that too, that too, that too, like I usually do. Um, but it looks like this. It's called MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash. Anyways, it's not gonna focus. And the wand is nothing special even. Like it's actually like, why do I love this mascara so much? Like it's nothing special, but just the formula is so amazing. This makes my eyelashes look bomb.com. So let's just keep it real and... <laughs> All right, so that was my March monthly favorites video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if there are any products you want me to try for the month of April, definitely let me know down in the comments. Very greatly appreciate it. I will go out and buy them. I will go out and try them. So yeah, until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.